So let's talk about Henry Cavill um, and talk about, well, first off, um, there's a new report that's out there that's talking about why uh, he actually quit the show, The Witcher. So uh, let me like read that. And the, according to this new report right here, I'm reading this off comicbook.com. According to uh, this new report, which comes uh, the way of Deadline, this is from Deadline, it says the reason behind, uh, God damn it, this thing keeps on like kind of, Getting all choppy right there. So sorry about that, guys. i got to figure that out, why it's getting choppy again. Um, but anyways, Cavill's departure isn't uh, particularly juicy, citing anonymous sources. Familiar to the matter, Cavill reportedly felt it was time to move on from the show after previously signing a short-term deal with Netflix uh, for its production. In addition to this, it's not the show... Uh, it's not the show had a, a very demanding production schedule requiring overseas travel. So it was just like the overseas travel. There's a lot that was going on when it came to all that. So, and uh, yeah, there was a lot that was happening when it came to it. And even like what he said, my journey is Geralt of Rivia, uh, Rivia and uh, was, has been filled with both monsters and adventures. And alas, I will be laying down my medallion. Of course, we read all that yesterday. So... Yeah, that's pretty much what's been happening when it comes to... Uh, that's what happened. According to this report, who knows if that's the actual details. Obviously, Superman had something to do with it, too. So you better believe that Superman had something to do with it. You know, he played the long game. He played his hand. He he played, the, you know, he played the long hand when it came to, to Superman. So it's always good. It's good. It's good. What's going on, man? Um, we got Team JVS right here. What's going on, sir? Mr. Samuel. And then um, we got this new, uh, we got some uh, stuff right here when it comes to him talking about Superman. Um, and, uh, well, first off, he talked he talked about James Gunn as well when it came to meeting with him. He hasn't met with James yet. I'm really looking forward to meeting him. God, man, it's getting it's still choppy, isn't it? Uh, to meeting him. He's clearly a very, very talented man, and I can't wait to sit down and have long, long conversations with him. I'm very excited that he's there and very excited for my future opportunities in that we can work together. So there you go. That's good. So he's looking forward to working with him. And this is what he had to say when he's when he uh, he elaborated on the whole joyful Superman, because obviously there are people when they hear joyful or optimistic. Yes. Uh, you know, the buttholes cringe like, oh, my God, is this going to be a cheesy, nostalgic Superman? Well, this is what he had to say right here when he talked about the joyful Superman. He said, like, uh, what's really what really draws me to Superman is that he represents the best of the human soul, the greatest of the human soul. It's not just his powers. It's his heart. It's his heart that makes him so special. And even when he's going through things, he continues to give to others. He continues to protect. He continues to protect others. He is the one who always reaches out and always gives. And in that, there is a lot of wonder and power. And it is something so joyful, as I say, that is not mournful weight, not a mournful weight. It's something that's a gift, giving a gift, because it makes people feel a certain way. And it also makes them want to give to other people in return. There's something magnificent about that. But once you get into the details of that, and once you start applying that narrative and all the wonderful and exciting villains that you might run into, then you have a world adventure and a world where the audience walks out of the theater feeling fantastic. So there you go elaborating on all the joyful stuff and everything like that. I know. Yeah, you can't. How dare you say joyful, Henry? We don't want we, we, we still want you to be angry. No, I mean, he can still be angry. He'll be a little bit of both. I mean, obviously, one of the one of the hardest things is to write a, a Superman story. You have a super you have a character that, you know, is impervious to everything but a fucking green rock, you know. And so it. it, it, it has a challenge you have to challenge him in a different way that's what when it came to man of steel and bbs what zach was trying to do he was challenging him in the different way of like hey how would people react if this being showed up to earth which they are continuing if you actually paid attention to what superman says at the end of black adam how people haven't been this nervous since he showed up so gotta love that good stuff right there it's okay he could be a little joyful guys <laughs> 